trying to do a real quick video and explain exactly why David Goggins is the guy that I'm going after for some really serious physical fitness training to um, launch me into the next atmosphere of my life. You put a challenge in front of yourself and you attack it, that's where you find inspiration. Try to be 10% better than you were last week. So if you're running 30 miles a week, run 33. And as I'm sitting on this, um, this beach, what is this thing I'm sitting on? A beach fence overlooking the ocean down here in Sydney, Australia. Um, contemplating things like Hell Week and the military and the Navy SEALs um, and equating it to how my life directly channels those kind of things. Uh, I'm sitting on my run thinking about Hell Week and what you guys go through um, as, as military dudes and, and what you overcome. And it, it just completely hit me. Yeah, there's a reason that David Goggins just keeps popping into my life, which has happened three or four times just like fireworks coming all day this month. And it's because um, because of the correlations. Hell Week. Um, when you're a sexual assault survivor, um, you think of Hell Week, but your Hell Week is lifelong. And it's now my job to, to go through Hell Week every single day for the rest of my life and, and to stay ahead of it. There is, there's no finish line, though, in this game. So I need to go to the next level. I need to find those things out of my comfort zone that are going to allow me to overcome on a daily basis and thrive and survive um, for myself um, and now for others. Um, so I'm down here thinking about that. And, of course, um, another thing that life just throws me at this, is this awesome guy that I just ran into. What's your name? Kelvin. Kelvin. Yes. Hey, so here's Kelvin. Kelvin, where are you from? Uh, I'm from here, living, living for an hour. Yeah, okay, Kelvin just came to me out of nowhere. I'm sitting here trying to do a video, and I've had the, the nice opportunity to meet with him. Kelvin, what's happened to you? Oh, I had a strike three and a half years ago. Three and a half years ago, and, yes. and we're down here looking over this beautiful ocean. Uh, what do you used to do? What was your passion? Uh, was uh, out here surfing all the time, motorbike riding, outdoorsy. Yep, and now you can't do that? No. Right. So here I am with Kelvin, thinking about my own life, and yet this awesome dude is here looking at the ocean he used to surf in, telling me about all the stuff he does on a daily basis to uh, just overcome the physical, the mental things that happen when you go through a stroke and change your life forever. Um, that was by no coincidence. And, and what was it you told me, Kelvin, that... Um... I do four to five hours a day exercise. Uh, you know, upright movement, which a lot of people call walking. Yeah. Um, exercise pedals. Do about 10 kilometers of that a day, three kilometers of upright moving. Um, do targeting with the left hand, because I've lost, lost say, the fine skills of the left side of my body. Right, so Kelvin's still out here. His Aussie mates that he used to surf with, totally awesome. They got him a boogie board so he could try that. Um, he'd rather go out there and try a boogie board and, and, and drown than do nothing. I just think it's yes. totally awesome, dude, so keep going. So there you go, the power of um, overcoming and, and doing it step by step, brick by brick, guys. And uh, Goggins, there's a whole lot of crazy down here in Australia waiting for you. And that ocean, I know you love your ocean. You guys, your Navy SEALs love your water. There's a whole lot of big sharks out there waiting for you. So let's go find them. All right, take it easy. See ya. Bye.